Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Here's a sneak peek of what we're gonna be making today. We're gonna be doing some beautiful blooms using my super simple version of the bloom technique with just paint and flow trowels. So let's jump in and get started. So the paints I'm gonna be using are the Primal Flow Premixed Ready to Pour Paints in Ink and Gold, Cobalt Turquoise, Plum, Perfect, uh, Royal Violet, and I'm going to be using my cell activator, which is Amsterdam Titanium White mixed one teaspoon paint to three tablespoons flow trawl. And that's the white you're seeing that I'm adding right here. And then what I do is I just go in and I blow my colors over the other um, colors that are were in my puddle pour and you don't want to blow super hard you don't want that white to bottom out you're trying to blow the white over your other colors it does take a little bit of practice and then you just let it sit so I'm not gonna do any more to this one. I'm just gonna let it sit and the cells and lacing develop on their own. We're gonna do a couple more. We're gonna do three more. And I didn't speed this up at all. This is real time, exactly how I made these. Um, so what I'm pouring on is resin coasters that I just didn't like. I wasn't too happy with them. So what I would do, what I'll do is I'll just uh, take one of my Primal Flow paints, flood the entire uh, coaster or um, you could use like a wooden cutout or a small canvas that would work too. flood the entire thing kind of like you know you're doing a paint pour make sure everything's covered add your puddle of puddles of color and then add your cell activator and you're just blowing the cell activator over your puddle of colors you don't want to blow too hard down you kind of want to just blow straight out and you can use your own mixed paints. I have a few other demos um, on my channel using my own mixed paints. Um, so you can 100% use your own mixed paints. The only thing with that is they have to be all metallic colors for it to work like this. And I'll be sure to link those videos down below in the description box if you guys wanna check those out. Um, I do a full demo mixing my own paints. If you guys don't want to do the primal flow paints I just like using the primal flow paints because they're so easy to use you just shake the bottle and they're ready to go so that's why I like to use them and they're the perfect consistency um, this technique you do want your paints on the thicker side see I'm just blowing that white over my colors you want to make sure you do that because if you blow down that cell activator the Amsterdam titanium white will just kind of not work um, as good it won't give you that really pretty lacing so this one here I actually had tried to do a dip in some of my runoff and I didn't like how it turned out so I'm just gonna add my puddles of color on top and then um, add my cell activator and blow the cell activator over my colors and the cell activator um, it does have to be the Amsterdam titanium white acrylic paint for it to work um, other brands of titanium white don't work so um, you can get that on Amazon I'll link it down below in the description box as well the Amsterdam titanium paints are made of acrylic resin and something about that acrylic resin when you mix it with Floetrol it just reacts differently um, so you want to make sure it's that Amsterdam brand titanium white that you're using um, to get this effect um, I know some people will say oh that's not a real bloom but to me it looks just like the blooms and you're not having to use you know house paint Minwax wood conditioner all that other stuff and it's basically looks you know the same as some of the other blooms I'm seeing out there so I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close-up this was the first one that we did see what I mean how if you just let it sit the cells and lacing will continue to develop this one's probably my favorite out of the bunch it turned out really awesome um, this is the third one that we did and then this last one that we just did too turned out really cool too so what I'm gonna do is let these dry um, and then I'm gonna give them a clear resin top coat um, what you can do is you could do a clear resin top coat on them and then their coasters again or 
I like to spray them with two coats of gloss Rust-Oleum Clear Coat Spray. And that's another way, um, you know, if you don't like to do resin or you don't know how to do resin, you could do that too. And here they are, they're all dry. I did my clear top coat of resin. I didn't add that to this video because this video is already kind of long, um, but if you wanna see how to add a clear top coat of resin to your acrylic pores, I have a few different videos showing that. I'll be sure to link those down below in the description box as well. But here's how they turned out. That ink and gold metallic is just gorgeous. It's got such a nice shine and shimmer, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Which one of these is your favorite? I think the first one, the one that I just showed, is my favorite. Um, it's got some really pretty details in it. And I do have a playlist of quite a few videos of me doing my version of the bloom technique, so be sure to check that out. I um, have my video showing where I used my own mixed paints, but remember it has to be all metallic colors. Um, those videos are in that playlist, so I'll leave that at the end card screen of this video. Just click that and it'll take you straight to it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button, don't forget to subscribe, and go check out a few more of my other videos that would really help me out a lot and I'll be sure to link all the materials I used down below in the description box. Thanks again, I hope you guys are all doing good and I will see you soon for another video. Bye!